talk about Azure Playwright service. So if you have Playwright test and you wanted to scale it, when I say scale it, you wanted to run in different browser, different uh, operating operating system. So this service is for you and you can execute your test case in parallel and in different browser and different uh, uh, operating system. So today we are going to explore this as your playwright service, how to use it, how to create resources and how to execute your tests. So let's dive in, in into this one. As you can see, I already have opened the Azure portal. So first what I'll do, I'll create a resources uh, in Azure portal and then I'll try to connect our playwright test with the Azure playwright uh, playwright service and then try to execute and, uh, it. So as I, I said, like playwright uh, testing is you can say uh, a Azure service that you can use to uh, execute your test cases in parallel manner or in different browser or in different uh, operating system. So for that, so let's search. Although you can see it's already there in history, but let's let me search. So you can use it. So playwright testing. So you can see in the search and click here and you can click on. Uh, create uh, playwright resources and I'll select. Let me select back to base group and just give uh, uh, some name like. Uh, as, uh, back to base. Playwright. Demo. And you can uh, choose your reason and you can click on create. So it will create the uh, workspace in Azure portal and uh, I'll show you how you can connect this workspace or this service with uh, your test. So click on create. So as you can see. Uh, work is space is being created. Deployment in progress. It will take a couple of seconds. It is creating. So while I uh, resources being created, I'll show you I already have this sample automation framework that will I'll connect with the Azure Playwright service. So this is in the uh, type script. It is the sample. Uh, uh, you can see it uh, test that Playwright provide. So I did not to do anything. I have just downloaded it, but for the demo purpose and you can see it has all the files and whatever it required for this. So let me come back again. As you can see, resource is created. Go to resource. And then here you can see dashboard URL. So this is basically your playwright service dashboard where you can see your execution basically. And also you can see launch button. You can use either launch or you can see uh, click on the dashboards. So let's click on the dashboard and click on this one. This one, this account. So as you can see, it doesn't have any execution, but I'll show you how you can execute the. Uh, so if you see. OK, I'll show you later. So you can see uh, here like what are let me explain you all the option here. So it, in the overview you have all the resource group dashboard URL subscription and that information. And you can see region management properties access control activity log. These things are just, just basic operation that you can see here. 
so i'll show you how you can connect it so let me go to again to dashboard so if you see uh, into uh, azure playwright testing workspace you will see uh, generate access token you will see uh, 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 reason endpoint and this operation and you will see what command we need to basically execute and it also saying add a playwright service configuration since we wanted to connect with uh, playwright service so we need to add the playwright service dot config dot uh, type script so if you see in my automation framework i already have added uh, that file so if you see it has the uh, configuration regarding the playwright service id and the service run id and access token and blah blah everything is there the only thing we need to basically somehow uh, import those as a environment uh, environment per variable so when we execute this uh, these test cases it will automatically pick those uh, test cases so let me go again here so what i'll do i'll create a access token so just click on this access token since i'm using powershell i'll just create uh, copy it and go to command line and just paste there and again go to here and copy the reason url click on here again so i copied the access token copied the reason url now we need to execute so if you see it has 22 uh, 20 uh, workers basically that uh, execute parallelly so i'll if i'll just copy it and uh, paste here so as you can see tests are being executed parallelly on the different browser basically and these are executed on the cloud not your uh, basically local machine so if you see here and if you refresh this page you will see that execution has started here i mean if you see test execution is started here and you can see like my machine as well and if you execute on your uh, let's say your ci cd pipeline or somewhere else you will see that uh, machine information there so you can see like test case are uh, in progress and if you go back to your automation again and if you wanted to check report just npx uh, play right show report so if you click on and if you see like tests are executed in different browser like chromium firefox webkit and you can basically customize it to different operating system and different uh, environment or different other browser as let's say is or uh, safari browser or any other browser you can customize your configuration file and you can increase the parallel um, workers as well so maximum par parallel workers are uh, 50 currently allowed in uh, microsoft uh, play uh, playwright service and you can execute 50 test cases uh, parallelly uh, for that uh, for any uh, test automation should basically so if you see like things are executed so in this dashboard you will only see the uh, execution history you will not able to basically see the execution history and for that basically uh, somehow we need to enable the diagnostic setting uh, i'll not go into in that uh, zone to show the create the um, analytics and those part but i'll show you how you can create diagnostic setting for that um, playwright so if you see uh, here click on the diagno uh, diagnostic setting click on microsoft testing operation and send log to uh, uh, workspace and you can choose so i have created playwright test data you can give name uh, logs data for playwright 
and save it. So whatever operation or uh, your uh, execution you are performing, you can basically parse your logs uh, in the analytics workspace and you can see OK, how many test cases were passed or fail or something like that uh, in the uh, uh, execution. And so this is how you can basically debug it. So let me go back to again. So if you see here, what is uh, still happening is at some point it should be completed. Uh, yeah, it's still in progress because it is executed, uh, executing parallelly in different uh, browser basically. So that's fine. So that's uh, I mean about it. How you can basically uh, scale your test cases. That means you can run on different browser, different operating system parallelly. So if you are running on your local system or uh, CI/CD, then you can integrate Playwright uh, testing service uh, with your uh, I mean stack, and you can run run your test cases parallelly and increase the your deployment frequency as well as release frequency. So that's about it. Uh, Microsoft Playwright testing and uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel back to base. Thanks again. Thanks for watching.